course of the investigation to the testimony of all the witnesses, we know that uh, Ziegler told Edward Williams to wait at his house at 7.30. I want you to help me start uh, distributing Christmas gifts at night. He told Charlie Mays, and we have three independent people who, who te can testify to that, or did testify to it, that he told uh, Charlie Mays to be at the store at 7.30. So he got both of these blacks, again, who were, yes sir, yes sir, Mr. Tommy, yes sir, Mr. Tommy, knowing that they would do what he said, one's at the store, one to be at his house. Well, he takes this car, and after he kills the first three victims, he leaves momentarily, and I think uh, you'll see a picture in here of a tip of a rubber glove. So we know during this struggle with Perry Edwards Sr. <clears throat> that he, the senior picked up a stool, tried to defend himself. Tommy came down with <clears throat> trying to hit him over the head apparently, but it caught the trigger house and bent it, <clears throat> and bent it so severely the gun went off, but it pulled a tip of a rubber glove off of Tommy's hand. And interesting too about that is that it went through a wall and hit a clock and stopped it right at 724. So we know the precise time that, that this, these killings were going on. Now mind you, uh, we have Tommy taking Eunice to the store at 715, 710 to 715. So we know she was dead when she first gets there. Now it's 723, 722 when the in-laws get there. And uh,